Today's word is glade. A glade is a greasy, open space in a forest. That makes me think of the one part of the city in uh, Arrow, the glades. Anyway, for example, she felt the most at ease outdoors, often delight in spit uh, peaceful glades she came across on her hikes. And a quote by Nina Kaplan in Travel Plus Leisure on October 28, 2023 states, Elsie Wenford has no, was no professional gardener just a very stubborn Ontarian with a lot of money. And although she started in 1926, before the road arrived, she somehow transformed a spruce, a spruce forest into a glade of delight in a part of the world where it's often shows snows and as late as May. Did you know? In his poem, After the Winter, Jamaican-born poet and novelist Clyde McKay writes of a summer isle where bamboos sprite spire is to a shafted grove and wide mouth orchards smile declare that we will build a cottage there yeah we will build a cottage there besides an open glade it's a sincere joyous vision often offered to speakers beloved and it may shine a bit of light on the entomological connection between glade and the adjective glad besides glade which has been a part of the english language since the early 1500s was originally used not just to indicate a clearing in the woods but often specifically to refer to one filled with sunlight Uh, note that McKay spe specifies that his glade is open, as glades can be full or partial shade. It's the sunniness that has led some entomologists over the years to suggest a connection with uh, glad, which in Middle English meant shining, to further the intrigue a now obscure scene of glade once referred to a clear or bright space in the sky or to a flash of lightning, light or lightning. And as always, if you're new to the channel and enjoy learning not only history, but also new words every day, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.